Good evening, everyone. I'm your host, Southern Britt. Hello, I am Southern Britt with your Grady News Source Sports. Today is officially in the books. We are at Legion Field and Bill Corey Stadium in Madison, Georgia, ready for the Battle of the Bulldogs. Gabe, tell us a little bit about this game. There you have it, everyone. Money has been spent and all bets have been placed. The April 16th Invitational will be the last tune-up event before these teams compete in region and state championship. Following the social unrest during the summer of 2020, Smart Cut practice to give team members time, a safe space, and an open mic. I got a chance to talk with Coach in between games and he said in order to win the second game, the team is going to need to be more successful offensively. So let's see if Morgan County can do it. Outfielder Josh Reddick grew up playing ball right here in Springfield, Georgia. Now Reddick giving back to his community by giving kids with big league dreams an opportunity to play in his stadium. Now in the final innings of tonight's doubleheader, Harlan is still on a high from being region champs. Now the energy is definitely coming from over here in the family and fans section. Look, they even got me being a fan over here. I'd say they're ready to close tonight out. Baseball pitchers typically spend extra time in weight training, rehab, and practices to take care of their throwing arms. North Dakota High School star Buck Chandler has had to take extra care so that he can excel not only on the mound, but also on the football field. The ability to keep Bubba healthy, uh, to watch his pitch count, to watch his volume in practice, to make sure that he's taking care of himself is huge. Chandler has a 5-0 record with a 0.56 ERA for the Titans, the team's first in their region with only four regular season games left. But Chandler, a senior, is also a really good football player. He'll have to choose soon between declaring for the Major League Baseball draft are heading to Clemson to play both football and baseball. Clemson football coach Dabo Sweeney has a plan for Chandler already. I think he has really embraced and, and trusts us with, with having a plan to help him, you know, excel. And uh, he's one of those guys that I think will have a decision to make one day. Whichever path Chandler chooses depends on him keeping his throwing arm healthy. His training regimen includes a lot of dynamic warm-ups, rehab, weight training, eating right, and practice. But most of all, mindset and communication. Listening to his body was not second nature for Chandler. An elbow injury his freshman baseball season required surgery and rehab. Having that injury early, he treats everything differently now. So taking care of his body is the main priority that we worry about now. Chandler's recovery not only allowed him to get back in the game, it also pushed him to get stronger mentally and physically. It's impressive as his parents get up and be at Coach Arndt's 630 football practice, come home, take a shower, drive to Marietta and, and play two baseball games at East Cobb that night, come back home and go back to football practice the next morning. During high school football season, the North Oconee coaches limited the number of passes Chandler threw in practice. Being a senior quarterback, that allows us uh, to focus less on those mid-level routes and working on those non-perfect throwing situations and making sure that he doesn't overdo it. Chandler completed 18 touchdowns while rushing for six scores on the ground his senior season. He also has been a staple for the Titans baseball program. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit last March, Chandler picked up the weights and locked in on his diet. He added 30 pounds of muscle mass. Just the power aspect of it with the more mass. You hit the ball further, you throw the ball harder, you become a better athlete. And so that's what I've tried to do. Lastly, hopes to get Chandler to his full potential safely by allowing him to finish out this baseball season with the rest he needs after high pitch counts. Yet, lastly, also plans to start Chandler more if the team goes deep in the state playoffs, which start April 28th. The program Coach Dimitrov has set up give them an opportunity not only to throw harder, but to throw healthier. So whatever we have to do to keep Bubba on the field is going to be critical for our success in a deep playoff run. Whether Chandler decides to go through with throwing both the pigskin and the cowhide, or whether he heads to the minor leagues, his story shows that being a two-sport athlete is not for the weak. Southern Brit, Sports Source. Coach, congratulations on your win. What does it mean for Morgan County to be able to uh, capitalize this win, come back from the first game, going into the playoffs? So when you're in the huddle over there, what did you say to your team? Well, back on the record, so yes. recording now and taking notes now, um, 
Do you have basically anything to add about how we can combat gender inequality in sport? His arm is obviously his main weapon. Uh, so how does he keep his arm safe, but also try to maximize his potential? Who knows, maybe I'll be the next Kyler Murray. <laughs> And with that, that's all we have for tonight's Sports Source. Thank you for watching. I'm Southern Brit. For Georgia Chambers, Gabe Cahan, and everyone else on our team, have a wonderful weekend.